Today's entry is Stack. Now, I'm going to be taking this a bit roundabout and instead talking about the folly of trying to stack up current additions to previous ones in most cases. Now, yes, there are the issues of the controversies regarding D&D or World of Darkness and their particular edition wars, but I want to f specifically focus on the reason why I don't tend to do edition comparisons when reviewing games. Now, for the most part, largely it's because of the fact that there aren't multiple editions for me to contend with, since I tend to avoid the bigger entries within games. But two, a lot of times it's a, it goes into every little detail about what changed and what didn't. And oftentimes, looking at a change in and of itself is a very surface-level critique. Largely because of the fact that with a lot of additions, you're dealing with um, different hands and different interpretations of those rules. Now, sometimes those interpretations will remain a bit more consistent, and it's more about just trying to clean up some of the clutter. Other times, you have more drastic cases, but the question is never asked why the change was made, the conclusion that's drawn is the change was made and therefore I don't like it because it was changed. What ends up coming to mind for me is some of the behind-the-scenes um, documents that were revealed regarding the change from 3rd to 4th edition for Legend of the Five Rings. And how they explained some of those changes were to, one... Get rid of get rid of some of the excessive bookkeeping. Obviously, there's going to be some degree of bookkeeping, but also to address the meta plot problem. They made very clear that play from the sheet was their battle cry. And while I don't think they completely got it at the level that I'd like, they got it at the best level that you could have seen. Whereas um, going from fourth edition to fifth edition is Essentially a soft reboot, so comparing what came before is ultimately fruitless. The other thing is that I practice holism with how I handle my reviews. I look at the entire book that I'm looking at and judge accordingly, not judge by individual pieces. It's the same reason why I haven't done the whole chapter-by-chapter chapter thing in about, I don't know, four years or so. Lastly... Whenever I tackle a given RPG, I need a certain angle to build around it. When I tackled D&D um, 5th Edition, for instance, the angle that I was building around was, did it follow through on its uniting the editions promise? The reason why I ended up scoring it so low is because, in my opinion, no, it didn't. But I digress. If I was to cover um, uh, Lord of the Rings... Uh, not Lord of the Rings, but Legend of the Five Rings 4th um, edition, it would be whether or not it um, handled the whole play from the sheet thing. And this goes on with, uh, with other games. That's the sole reason why I didn't make a whole lot of comparison notes when I reviewed Shadow, Shadowrun 6th um, edition and when I reviewed um, Shadowrun Anarchy. Now, in the case of Anarchy, comparing that to Shadowrun 5th Edition is a bit unfair, um, mostly because it's trying to be a simpler game, using the Q system instead of, the, instead of Shadowrun's traditional approach. Now, in the case of 6th, um, the main reason that I ended up taking the route that I did there was because there were certain... There, I knew that there were certain issues that Shadowrun has had that weren't getting addressed. And I, w I wanted to hope that that, that that was something that would be addressed here. Moreover, the big criticism that I saw and I've seen in several edition changes is it is it um, being simplified, being too video gamey or some measure along those lines. And as somebody who plays a whole lot of video games and plays a whole lot of tabletop games, I can't help but be annoyed with video games being used as a pejorative like that. But more importantly, I don't like this idea that there is this true and holy way to write a given game. 
I only get I only get on certain designs when it's very clear that the design was done in bad faith. But I don't care for the notion of get of um, having a design by gospel, as I've often called it. I'd rather it stand on its own merits. And that's why the question of whether something stacks up to its predecessor is ultimately, to me, pointless, except for very specific circumstances. I know this is a roundabout way to go with the stack prompt, but um, that's the word, and I'm sticking to it.